Du, 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 du. Tana Ferry. Funny though, they didn't mention anything about a mask. be pleased to hear that a found bloke wants to buy the lot. That's terrific. Well, that's not too surprised, David. It is my field. There's not a racket in the world I couldn't flog. Your record's been a case in point. <laughs> Thanks. So, who bought the records? HMV? HMV? <laughs> no, God bless you, no HMV. No, it's a bloke, um, got one of them clay pigeon machines. You know, fires clay discs, people shooting with shotguns. Well, he reckons he can rig it up to fire 45s. How long did you think you were going to get away with this, by the way? Get away with what? Written by L. Con. Well? If you didn't write Liza Jane. <laughs> I think you're fine. That's the reefer doobies talking. Oh, um, who's Liza Jane, then? A bird. Describe her. Oh, she's got, uh legs up to here, she's got a torso up to here, a, a, a neck. Up to here? That's her, yeah. That's it's my song. All right, look, look I, I admit that there was a small clerical error by which it appears I've acquired all the rights to the song in perpetuity. Good job we didn't make any money then, eh? Absolutely, David, absolutely. I mean, I would hate for a small typo to ruin our whole relationship. Yeah, just imagine if I couldn't trust you. Oh, God forbid. But it happens all the time, you know. I mean, look at the Beatles. Eight days a week. Don't think so, lads. I mean, that, that's a bit sloppy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's Mark now. Boy, hey! Headrest is that way, darling. <laughs> I can do this by myself. No, no, it's a two-man job. And I have got two able-bodied young crooners who owe me for all the hard work I've put into their careers thus far. <clears throat> anyway, the song wasn't the problem. It was the band. As a punter, I want to be intrigued. I want an aesthetic, not some pack of scruffy Tom, Dick and Harrys. Tom, Dick and Harrys? I mean, I looked all right. They were your mates, David. George, he was your best mate. They were very scruffy. Our rhythm section looked like one big cardigan. Yep, yeah, and I told you, didn't I? I told, what did I tell you? Turtlenecks. Over my dead body. Oh, that's right, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot, David doesn't like turtlenecks. So what does he do? He liquidates the entire band behind my back. It wasn't working. It's not all the money I mind, David. It's the, it's the time and the experience which I've lavished you just to see it squandered. But you are still going to plug me, though, right? <sighs> For my sins. Good, because I've got my next single all lined up. You know, House of the Rising Sun, I was... Hello, the prodigal slump. Leslie, can you lend me a quid? Very funny. Mark Feld, David Jones. Davy Jones. Like the fella from the monkeys. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, because he's the only Davy Jones anyone's ever heard of. <clears throat> Let's just get on with it. Right. Leslie, about this painting gig, I was going to tell you to stick it up your ass over the phone, but then I thought, I'm going to tell him to stick it up his ass to his haggard old face. Because I respect you. Balls, you didn't even have tuppence for the telephone, did you? <laughs> With a mind like that, you belong in Scotland Yard. As for me, I am an artist, no. not a bloody navvy. Do you know what I've got in my briefcase here? The last time a fella asked me that was a Tory MP trying to pick me up in a Kazi. I'm talking about contracts. 
talking about recording contracts for the pair of you. It's like I keep telling Doris Day there, Viral lawyers, you give me another chance, I will shift more records than you can shake your tush at. So you two, pay your debts, see me straight, and I will make you masters of all you survey. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at. You've been singing less than a year. You haven't written a song yet, and quite frankly, you're charmless. David, fine. Queer as a box of birds, but at least he's punctual. You're a clown. Listen, if you want these recording contracts, you paint that bloody wall, you long-haired gits. Your shoes are shit. They're winkle pickers. Exactly. City in France. And they're nice biscuits, hence nice. If they weren't, do you think they'd say not nice, rotten? You don't print bad reviews, unless you haven't got any good ones. I'm not sanding your wall. I don't want you to touch my stinking wall. So you one of these art school types, then? It's a wall. It's not a fresco. It's not Picasso's bloody Guernica. Ooh, Picasso. I went to Bromley Tech. Did you get any O-levels? One. Oh, all right, Professor. I failed all my other ones. Yeah, well, I got expelled. They couldn't handle my raw animal magnetism. Do you think it was that? I like this one. <laughs> so, you're from Bromley? Well, I was born in Brixton. But you live in Bromley? Charming. Charming. Green spaces, quality of life, no Jews, blacks or Irish. Dogs welcome, of course. They're man's best friend. It's like Village of the Damned. Do you see that film? All the aliens had your haircut. Bromley's all right. Has it got a wimpy bar? It's got two, actually. Oof. I'll just cream myself. For your information, there's a lot of talent in the green belt and a lot of tripe on Drury Lane. All right, ducky. Here. What about you, then? Stoke Newington, boy. What do your parents do? My father works for a charity. What about your mum? Is she...? She's not dead. My mum runs a stall on Berwick Street. Groovy. Yeah, she is. Do you know where Berwick Street is? Near Carnaby Street. How near? Down, then along. Ish. They're different colours. Your eyes. I don't ask about your appearance. Maybe you should. You might learn something. King of the mods, the newspaper called me. Six page spread, two colour photos, a dozen black and whites, taken by this cat called Don McCullen. Do you know him? Fantastic eye. 
He adored me. All my clothes are handmade, see? It's a matter of principle. I got a cat up in Hoxton. Absolute magician. Like Gandalf in a yarmulke. Well worth the schlep. I could take you there if you like. Suit yourself. It's definitely nice. Do you know the kinks? I toured with them. The animals? A bit square. Small faces? I was their singer. Really? Well, I have sung with them. Are you also Dave from Dave D. Dozy Beaky Mick and Tidge? So come on. Who do you like? Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters, oh. Blind Lemon oh. Jefferson, Blind Willie Johnson, Blind Willie McTell. You can just say the blues. You don't need to list every blind bloke in Mississippi. Yeah, but I don't dig virtuosity, I dig feeling. I love those people who can send a chill up my spine. Yeah, I dig that. I like Chuck Baker. That's nice. No, he's nice, I just prefer Coltrane, Mingus, Monk, the genie. The genie. Well, how come you're nicking songs of Huey Piano Smith? Well, one, I've never even heard of Huey Piano Smith. Really? I thought you were old blind Davy McTell. But even if I had, which I haven't, I never said I wrote Liza Jane. I modernised it. What's wrong with juxtaposition? If I knew what it meant, I'd tell you. Taking a bit of him, a bit of her. You know, talent borrows, genius steals. Picasso said that. Did I mention I've got an O-level? No, I mean... Take an old folk song like House of the Rising Sun. My friend, this bloke, George, thought, what if you put some drums under it? Like... Maybe some reverby guitar. Down, 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 down. It's heavy, it's sexy, it's... The animals. It's what? The Animals released that song, literally last week. <laughs> what, you're winding me up? I'm not. I guarantee you, someone will be playing it right now. Bollocks. Why do you want to sound like other people? You're always going to sound like someone. I sound like Mark Feld, mate. Or whoever. Because I think I might actually change my name. What do you think of Dirk Baggins? Quentin Barbados? <laughs> but don't you feel like one day I put on this shirt and I combine it with that voice and that's who I am on a Wednesday and that's all there is to it. All there is to what? Life. And I don't know if that's cool or thin, bleak. Maybe you're not cut out for it. Life. Rock and roll. <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of doubt, David. Do you think your Dylans, your Jaggers, they sit around going, oh, am I doing the right thing? Uh, it's rhetorical. Self-doubt. It ain't groovy. 
I never interrogate. Any decision I ever make is a point of principle. Explains the hair. Childish. But I ain't bothered. I've got a destiny. I am going to be bigger than the Beatles. <laughs> That's a fact, is it? Yes. <laughs> so what's the song? What made you get into all of this nonsense? Ah. Well? When I was nine, my dad bought me this single. He didn't realise you can't play 45s on a gramophone, which was all we had. I put the 45 on and it was far too slow, you know. But there was something. I started turning the record with my hand faster and faster, faster and faster until it became this, this sound. What was it? Tootie Fruity, Little Richard. Oh. Ugh. My heart nearly burst. It was like hearing God. I was hearing God. <laughs> so what about you? Couldn't afford a gramophone. When I was nine, I was mostly having sex. <laughs> you don't buy it? It's the one thing I'm really good at. Sex? The whole shebang. People like me. Maybe they don't want to like me, but... They can't help themselves, right? <laughs> What's your dirty little secret? Say you're sick to the back teeth of everything. Who do you listen to? Someone embarrassing. Yeah. This is a trap. Scout's on her. That's the wrong hand. <laughs> Both say it on three. Okay. One. One. Two, three. Cliff, Cliff Richard. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> He's the English Elvis. He deserves a knighthood. Summer Holiday is the best film ever made. Mm. <laughs> Do you know how to use a photocopier? Rambo, French cat, proper filth. Fella told me I looked like him, so I got the book out of the library. That's quite a peculiar logic. Is it? No, no. Rambo wrote everything he wanted by the age of 20. Was dead at 37. Can you imagine being 37? I sort of see myself going mad. What, like, mad mad? Yeah. Really? Yeah, my mother's side. Half her sisters have been locked up, electrocuted, lobotomized and whatnot. Don't know why I'm telling you this. Horrible. Yeah, well, I don't want to get old. Amen, brother. Amen. <sighs> so tell us about the eye. I got it playing football. You don't look like much of a footballer. <laughs> About a year ago, my friend George asked this girl out. Well, he asked her dad if he could take her out. Anyway, it's all been set up. On the day, I told George that Kate didn't want to go out with him anymore. Which wasn't strictly true. Anyway, Kate thinks she's been stood up. She's crying her eyes out in wimpies. You were going to swoop in. Right. Be a shoulder to cry on. Only George found out, so he punched me. In the eye? He, uh, broke it, basically. Had a couple of weeks in hospital, two operations, but... I like it. I think it gives you mystique. Yeah? You really liked her? Yeah. Ca Carol. Carol Goldsmith, not Kate. Oh, well, that's charming. 
very romantic. It was true love. <laughs> yeah. This is my song. Do you know it? Yeah. I walk 47 miles of barbed wire. I use a cobra snake for a necktie. I got a brand new house on the roadside, made of round snake hide. I got a brand new chimney made on top, made out of a human skull. Now so come and take a walk with me on it. Carol. Who do you love? 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 <laughs> yeah. That's great. Hmm. What? I've got to get out of Bromley. George on the warpath again? No, he's all right. It's everyone else in that mock Tudor hellhole. They look at me like I'm a Martian. That'll be the eye. Fuck off. Hey, you know, what? What, you want to have a little flirt, do you? Come on, D'Artagnan. Hey, OK. Well, get off me. Hey. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> get off me. Hey. Get, hey. Off. Hey. get off. Hey. off. Hey. Oh, get off. Hey. Get off me. Hey. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucker. <laughs> These aren't contracts. They're parking tickets. He's dodging the fines. Let's get out of here. We'll head down to Carnaby Street, have a route through the bins. See if we can't find you something decent to wear. <laughs> Maybe I'll introduce you to my mum. <laughs> Hang on. Tell him it's art. <laughs> when you finish that, boys, you can have a go at the bogs. Because of what you are, the prettiest star. 